Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we're gonna show you all of the steps to set up your Mate 20 Pro. These are the first things you should do immediately and these will help you out in terms of battery life as well as make the phone a lot faster than it currently is. So let's get started. Uh, first and foremost, we have to do one thing before anything else and that is go immediately to display and then to more display settings and then hide that notch. So that has already infinitely improved the phone. We will get to other things here, but as of right now, that's the main thing that I just wanted to go over because that is very important. All right, now that we did that part, let's go to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Then we're gonna to go to system. Then we're gonna to go to about phone, and then we're going to repeatedly hit the build number. So we're gonna repeatedly hit that, and we are now a developer. So now that we have that, we have the developer options right here. You're gonna to go to developer options and you're gonna scroll all the way till you get to the drawing category. Once in the drawing category, you're gonna change these three things, say animation scale and change them to 0.5. Now, if you want to as well, I like to kind of mess around with the width here. It just gives you more uh, on your screen. So if you want to change that, we can show you uh, a simpler way to change it, but that's just one thing you might want to do later. Uh, all right, now let's go into a couple of different things. First, we're going to find location. And since it's different with every phone, I just find it easier just to type in location just because they're always having uh, different ones. So under location, you want to go to advanced settings and turn off Bluetooth scanning. This makes it so when Bluetooth is off, it's actually off. I, I find that really annoying that you can actually have Bluetooth on uh, just to see where your location is, which isn't necessary. All right, now we're gonna to go to home screen settings and then we're gonna change the home screen style to drawer so it's not iOS-like. Instead, it is a full Android uh, device, which is much better that way. So you're gonna have your full app drawer now and that's gonna be much better off. I'm gonna to need to change around things uh, and show you differences there, but at least that's one big start to it. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on always on display. This is a great thing to always have. Now you can do it at a schedule, which is pretty nice. From here, you can just have it on all day or go to schedule. I like the schedule part. That way it doesn't drain your battery at night if you do wanna do a two day battery test like I do. So that is going to stay as that. Then we're gonna to go to home screen settings and we are going to change the home screen loop on, which will disable high board, but you'll find this gives you a much, much, much better experience. So I like it a tremendously a lot better. You can also do uh, different things along here. So check your preferences as you would want them. Then we're gonna to go to display and we're gonna to go to color and eye comfort. Now from here, you're gonna to want to check out the natural tone if you do like that iOS true tone style which basically just changes from white to yellowish uh, depending on your lighting. Then you can go to color mode and change it to normal if you want more natural tones. By default, it is on vivid, which I tend to like. Then we wanna go to eye comfort. And from here, you wanna set up a schedule just for around the time you usually go to sleep and wake up. This way, your eyes will be much easier to fall asleep. Now I do recommend instead of doing it in the middle, which it's on by default, around here, I don't like it too strong, but do it as your preference. And then we can go to text and display. Now this is part I was talking about earlier where I wanna utilize more of the screen of the phone. So I like to put it to small for the display size. However, if the text is too small, you can always bump that back up this way. So if your text is too small, then just bump the text up, but you'll find that uh, having it on small is a great way to utilize more of your display. Okay, so from there we are going to go to the notification section. And right here, you're just gonna want to decide if you want your notifications to turn on the screen or if you just want the normal pulse light. I personally like the notifications to turn on the screen, but it's up to you on what style you like. And then we're going to go to the battery area. Now under the battery area, there's two things we wanna turn on immediately. And that is first, this is gonna save you a lot of battery life. Turn on the dark interface. 
This changes the entire phone and all of its white screens to black, so you are going to have a much better experience. And this will not change specific apps, of course, but the benefit is definitely going to be there where all of your uh, built-in apps now are going to have this uh, type of interface. Then I would turn reverse wireless charging on. This is just a really cool feature that's unique to this phone. And what it does is it allows you to wirelessly charge another device, whether it be a phone, whether it be something that accepts wireless charging, you can do it right there now. Then under power consumption details, oh no, sorry, battery usage, nope. In settings. In settings, you're gonna to want to turn on the battery percentage so you can always tell what battery percentage you are for your battery life. Uh, you can do next to, but uh, since we are running low on real estate space here now, I actually like the new interface of it inside. It's still easy to see. And uh, again, you just have more real estate there as the notch takes up a lot now. So from there, we want to do uh, one last main thing in the settings, and then we'll be done with that part. And that is go to system navigation. Now, here's where you can decide on a couple of different things. Uh, first off, you can decide if you want to go three keys or you want to go the gestures route. The gestures route is actually better, I would definitely say, than uh, stock Android Pie. Swipe up for home, swipe left or right uh, for back, and then swipe uh, still halfway for recents. Uh, I would say though, it's not that good at the Google Assistant one. I find that very irritating that I wish it could have been the bottom corners of both. Uh, so I just feel like if you're left-handed, it might be good, but it, it just, it really doesn't do well on the right side compared to the left side on my initial testing. So do uh, which one you would want. I still have the three keys and I do like the hide keys option. That way I can hide it if I want to and then just bring it back up if I want to have it. So I like that ability to have it. You can also bring the notification shade down if you want that as well. And now that we did that, you just want to uninstall a uh, specific bloatware from Huawei so um, that you don't need it. If you don't need it, we can get rid of it. So like this one, we can do remove and it, it will, oh, sorry, that's the app drawer now. Uh, now that we have the app drawer, basically you can get rid of certain things that you might not want. So if you hold it down, you can hit uninstall and uh, get rid of something that you might not want if you don't want the high care app. If you don't want any of the built-in stuff, you can just get rid of it. And I definitely recommend doing that. But already you can see we have a much, much smoother experience overall and just a much a better look now to it. I had to fix it up, of course. And one last thing is I do recommend Nova Launcher overall for this device. I will be installing it. If you haven't checked out our video on Nova Launcher, I'll leave a link for the description on our Samsung phone for it. But Nova Launcher will do a much better job, I feel, than Huawei's UI. All right, guys, let me know what are your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below. And what do you want to see on this phone? Thank you, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.